Right, today I'm going to show you how to make uh, venison kebabs, and these are kofta style, the ones that come on a kebab stick. So in this bowl here, I've got 500 grams of venison dice, I've got half a lemon, one small red onion, finely diced, and this is a seasoning that I make up. And in that seasoning, there's a tablespoon of smoked paprika, tablespoon of garlic powder, half a tablespoon of onion powder, a little bit of um, dark soft brown sugar just so it gets a bit of a caramelized and a bit of sweetness to it salt and pepper and a little bit of um, dried herbs just to blend it all up so what I'm going to do is put all that into the venison mint along with the onion squirt the lemon juice in there as well just like that and then to give it a good A good mix just combined everything together and um, if you are going to cook these on a barbecue one tip I'll give you for your kebab sticks soak them in water for half an hour it will just stop them burning because anything you put on the barbecue that is wood obviously over the flame is going to char and smolder so right we'll give that a mix so what I'm going to do now is load load the sticks up. So what I'll do is get the meat and just work it down. So I'll start with a lump and a little bit more on. A friend of mine, when he makes a big batch of kebab mix like this, he loads it into his sausage stuffer, puts a stick in the end and loads it on that way. It does actually work, but I weren't going to get my sausage stuffer out for this small batch. Right, so that's it. Just load it onto your stick, and then once you've made them, I'll put them in the fridge just to chill um, for half an hour. Let all the uh, seasonings get into the meat, and it'll be a lot firmer when you cook it. So I've just knocked up three good sized kebabs, and they smell incredible already. They're not even cooked. So I've just took them out of the uh, chiller, I kept them in there for about 20 minutes and they firmed up quite nice, so they'll cook quite nicely. So I'm going to get these cooked off and then we'll uh, try one. Well here are the kebabs, they're all cooked off now. And what I like to do with them, get half a lemon, give a bit of squeeze over. And I've made up a mint and yoghurt dip, so let's dip it in. Mmm. That's uh that's pretty taste that is. And that will go well with um pita bread, salads, mm, anything. So if you've got any venison mints knocking around, give this one a go and we'll see you soon.